YouTube. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, holding it down. A little talking section real quick before we go in this kitchen. Uh, cooking for co-workers. Let's do it. All right, what we gonna cook, or oh, I'm not cooking today, cooking tomorrow, but we're gonna season up some meat. So I'm gonna show you what a case of leg quarters look like, the price I pay for them, and uh, the final product on when I season them, what I put them in, when I stick them in my refrigerator. And we're gonna split it up. I'm not cooking the whole case. I'm doing a, a half a case. I roughly get about 58 to 60 pieces. Um, I was lucky in this video right here um, to get a heavier weight. Um, I don't know, maybe I was in uniform and they liked me or whatnot and they hooked me up because they took a dollar off too. So maybe I should go all the time in uniform. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go in this kitchen, right? Oh, also I got a uh, five pounds of drumsticks too. But we're gonna go in this kitchen show you what a case of chicken looks like what it comes in what the cost of it typically is about $18.99 on a good day um I already told you how many pieces we get um in leg quarters um and that's a good idea like if you're cooking in bulk for a lot of people you can't go wrong with leg quarters unless they just don't like dark meat um leg quarters and then you got uh drumsticks drumstick a case of drumsticks usually average about $25 for a case and I'm not even gonna tell you how many you get in them because I just stopped counting, man. It's just a buku of them. And that's a cheap way to feed a whole bunch of people with a bunch of meat. Um, if you get a case of leg quarters, like I said, about 60 pieces average. And then leg quarters, you probably get about 120 pieces, maybe more than that, shoot. Um, you can feed a lot of people with about $20, $45. So just think about that. Instead of you spending all your money on brisket, um, Boston Bus is a good one as well. Um, they average about $10, $11 at any given time all year round for uh, uh, a pork shoulder or a Boston butt as they call it. But anyway, let's go into this kitchen. Let me show you what this case looks like. What's up, YouTube? We're back in this kitchen. About to put in some work. Uh, what we're about to do right now, let me show you this. I bought uh, five pounds of... Uh, as I call them drumsticks or the, the legs as people call them. Uh, I gotta clean them up, season them up. I have a case of leg quarters. You never seen with a case of leg quarters? They generally come in a box like this. Uh, I'm gonna show you the price too, man. Pretty decent price. $17.99. You know what I mean? Uh, easy day. Usually comes about, I don't know, on average, about 58 to 60 uh, leg quarters. Let me show you all uh, what they look like. They're all sealed up in plastic. I gotta take them out and clean them up. That sucks, man. It's probably gonna take me about a good hour uh, if you're gonna clean them thoroughly. Uh, things like that. But yeah, that's how a case of chicken looks, y'all. I'm gonna put this on the grill. I'm cooking uh, half a case of lead quarters for the job. You know, they uh, they uh, like my barbecue, or, or at least they eat it. They, they, they don't tell, I, I haven't had anybody tell me they don't like it yet. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm all about constructive criticism. The one thing to note when you're cooking for multiple people, um, whether it's um, co-workers, um, anybody at the job, um, anybody in general, if you're doing cooking for somebody, 16th birthday, which I've done before, it's hit or miss on what what flavors people like. So what I tend to do is do multiple flavors so that you you can hit each person. Like uh, what I'm gonna do with this, I'm actually gonna cook half a case. Well, it depends on how many pieces I get out of this. I'm gonna count them all up and then whatever that is divided by two, obviously, and that'll be half. Um, if it's not enough, I'm cooking for probably, my office is about 15, maybe 15 strong, 12 strong, um, but the company I work for, um, or the, the location I work for, it's about 200 people total. I'm not trying to feed all of them uh, out of my pocket, but like I said, it was only 20 bucks. It was like $5 for the uh, uh, five pounds of leg quarters, hence why I only, only have that many leg quarters. I cleaned them up too, season them up. This is a Saturday. I will do the cook tomorrow on Sunday, so that it'll be fresh for Monday. I wish I could just cook. You know what I mean? Late Sunday into Monday, as if I didn't have to work and just bring it in straight off the grill, which is tastes better once the uh, the meat cools down. But unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. Got to go to work on Monday, so I'm gonna cook it on Friday. Um, let the meat cool down, put it in a uh, uh, 
my little beans or whatever, and then uh, put them in the refrigerator, and then the following morning, I just bring it to work, and they can warm it up. Uh, we'll go from there. Sometimes even uh, warmed up food tastes better than, you know, the day of. That's strange, but depends on the cut of meat, the season you use. Uh, um, trying to think of what season that goes good for. The It'll come to Italian dressing. If you're cooking a turkey and you use Italian dressing, cook it the day before Thanksgiving. That's a fun fact right there. Um, over history of me cooking turkeys or smoking turkeys, if you're using a, um, Italian dressing, the meat, when it cools off, the taste is okay. I mean, it's bearable. But the next day, it's off the chain. So that's a thought. Or if you're trying to practice, do a carnage hen or something. Uh, cooking in an aluminum pan um, with the, the dressing in there. Every so often, you take a spoon and, uh, you know, you dip into the dressing just to uh, cover the, uh, the meat so that it doesn't dry out. And you'll notice the total, total difference, man, the, night, the, day, the next day. It's crazy how that works with that particular uh, uh, seasoning, if you want to call it, marinade or whatever. Um, it's still dressing, but in this case, it'd be marinade. But it's crazy how that works. Anyway, I got work to do, y'all. I got to clean up uh, this chicken. So stick with me. If you got any questions on anything in reference to buying cases in bulk, is it cheaper? Uh, things like that. Anything. Hit me up. Um, actually, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to cut this open. I'm going to show you what a couple pieces look like. We'll be back in a minute. All right, check it out, y'all. About to cut this bag open. Uh, look at that. Once you cut this open and you uh, uh, expose it to them, you got to do one or two things. Freeze these immediately or either go ahead and clean them and they'll get them in the refrigerator. The key is not to allow chicken, right, because you don't want salmonella poison. You know, uh, definitely don't want that. Um, is go ahead and keep uh, put it in the refrigerator, like I said, uh, keeping it below room temperature and go in there and freeze it like that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna clean all this I'm gonna cook uh clean what I'm gonna have to cook and then we're gonna go from there all right let's just take one out actually not too bad but you gotta clean the uh the yuckiness out of it you know it still got veins and stuff in it stuff like that that's what it looks like y'all pretty decent um let me give you a close-up uh, there you go. That's what a case of leg quarters look like, y'all. Anyway. All right, y'all. After cleaning them up, getting them ready to go, now it's time to season them, let them marinate for about 24 hours. We'll give you a close-up. Two different seasonings. Can you tell the difference? Yep. Your boy don't play.